morning welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new my name is lauren today i'm filming a morning routine video i've never done this before so i figured why not do it i feel like now more than ever i'm very routine oriented because i do have the structure of a nine to five job during the week so it really keeps my life in a routine which i like and i feel like if you have goals for yourself it helps you get to those goals quicker and more efficiently with a routine. So I'm gonna show you my morning routine. I am starting off with some warm lemon water. I do this every single morning. It really helps with hydration after you're sleeping. You tend to become dehydrated and I used to just immediately jump into coffee in the morning, but I realized that some days I'd wake up with a headache or I would feel more dehydrated so I've been starting off my mornings with warm lemon water and it makes such a difference with overall hydration how I feel the lemon is detoxifying to the body just has tons of benefits if you want to look up benefits of warm lemon water in the morning there's a ton of benefits so I start off by drinking warm lemon water, and then I will get to coffee. My routine obviously varies a little bit. So during the week, I wake up obviously way earlier than nine o'clock. I never sleep in this late, ever. What time is it even? It is 9.47. I can't even tell you the last time I slept in this late. Usually I'm up at seven o'clock, even on the weekends. I'm just used to that body clock time of my body waking up so consistently. I'll probably show you some stuff that I do during the work week and stuff that I just do on the weekends. But yeah, this is gonna be my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, so I'm gonna drink my morning lemon water. I'm a little puffy. I think it's because I overslept. So I'm going to ice roll my face. I do this most mornings, even during the week when I'm on like a time crunch because I have to leave for work, especially on the weekends. I do it for a little bit longer because I just have more time. It really helps. I have these linked in my Amazon shop. But anyways, I'm going to ice roll my face. Get it um, depuffed. And then I'm going to put on my eye patches. And I've talked about, I talked about this in a vlog, but if you're new, these are really hard to get your hands on sometimes because I just tried to link them in that video where I talked about them a few vlogs ago and I couldn't find them and then the next day they were available with 14 left in stock so I quickly bought two. I love this. I have I think one more treatment in this. It's okay because I have two more. I got my sister to try them yesterday and she loved them. These are them. They're the Snail Repair Intensive Cold Eye Gel Patch and I, they're filtrated let me see, nourishing and moisturizing filtrated snail mucus hydrogel eye patch with elasticity care. And whoever created these just knows something that we don't, and I think it's Korean skincare, and they just know it all. They know their stuff. So I love these. Don't know why, they, I just love them so much. They make your makeup go on so good. They're just amazing. So definitely check them out. I mean, just look at the reviews if you can't purchase them or if you're just like still concerned about why I'm buying them. Just look at the reviews and look at like what people are saying about them because people are hyping them up and now I am because, wow, they're amazing. I'm gonna do this and then finish my lemon water and then put on those gel eye patches. Now I'm going to put on the gel eye patches. Yeah, I knew I was right. I only have like one treatment left. So. Here are the eye patches. They just look like 24 karat gold gel eye patches that you can buy. I think like Peter Thomas Roth has them. So they just look like regular eye patches. They don't look disgusting. I know probably that I was a little scared scared and concerned when I ordered them I'm not gonna lie and I was like what are these going to look like on my face are they gonna look gross like it's gonna be a weird smell I don't know so this is what they look like they have a perfume in them I did read the ingredients they just look like 
regular eye patches to me they are life changing can i even am i gonna watch this footage back and be like what why are you talking with these on your face but it's fine it's just my morning routine so on the weekends i usually just have a cup of coffee and i don't really eat breakfast until 12 o'clock one o'clock sometimes it's like earlier than that it just depends but during the work week i have now started doing something different with my coffee so i have been trying to like get more protein in my body this is probably not the best protein but i just use the premier protein um it has 30 grams of protein it is in the flavor caramel and it tastes like a caramel macchiato when i do this so i just i you know, get all of my stuff while i'm making my warm lemon water i will actually brew just a cup of coffee and this is the malazio virturo line i have a virturo nespresso machine and i will just take this and i will brew the cup of coffee and then i'll stick it in the freezer to get it really cold really quick and then i will fill up a yeti of ice i will pour this premier protein over ice and then i will pour the cup of coffee in and it fits all in here it tastes delicious i drink it all morning and then i drink it on my way to work so since i'm not a huge breakfast person but i well, most days i really want something in my system but i'm not necessarily ready to eat a meal at 7 a.m i feel like a lot of people are like this I'm just not ready to eat like a meal at 7 a.m. It's like really early. I'm just like not hungry. So this is just a way to like get something in my system that is like high protein, um, one gram of sugar. And that's like all that I really care about. Like I don't really care about the, the calories. I mean, the calories are fine. But um, it's probably not the healthiest protein, but I did want to share that. That's This is what I do during the week um, to get my protein in and have like a breakfast. I don't want to push that I use it as a meal replacement because I'm not necessarily like starving in the mornings using this to like satisfy like any type of hunger. I'm just using it to like get protein in in the mornings. And then if I'm hungry when I get to work or if I'm hungry before I go to lunch, I will have a snack. So it's mostly just to get something in my system. I'm not hungry in the mornings, but I did want to say that I don't really use it as a meal replacement. Like I eat intuitively, so if I'm hungry, I'm going to eat something but most mornings when i'm getting ready for work actually all mornings when i'm getting ready for work i'm not hungry yet so i've been doing this with just a cup of coffee you can also do it with a double shot of espresso i haven't tried it with a single shot of espresso but i just um, have been doing it with coffee and it's great it tastes really good you don't need to add anything else to it i just this over ice and i don't even add milk it trust me it's sweet that's what i do during the week so i did want to say that just in case maybe you guys want to get more protein into your diet and you're not hungry in the mornings maybe if you have like some fitness goals that you're trying to reach and you want to up your protein and you don't know how just add it to your coffee i hope this wasn't ridiculous of me with like my eye patches on but anyways i'm just gonna do my favorite cup the bianco leggero i butcher that probably every time I try and get more fiber in my diet these days and I just supplement with fiber and I pour it into my coffee. This is like hard to, okay, so this is from Monaco. It's Inulin. Um, I've been following this girl. I've been taking this for probably six months now. Has it really been that long? Five or six months I've been taking this. Um, I need a new one, honestly, but it's from Monaco. It's just powdered inulin. It's high fiber. It just helps with overall digestion. You just need fiber in your diet to have like a healthy digestive system. Fiber is everything. I do try and find a lot of fiber in the foods that I eat. So I just use this as like a little bit of extra help. So I don't really add too much, but I just add like a little bit. But I've been doing this for five months and I love it. I'll link it down below. She has like a ton of research on her page. I don't want to say something that's not correct about this. So just do the research on her page. I'll link her store page down below if you want to check it out. And I just mix it in my coffee and it mixes perfectly. 
When you do add a ton of protein to your diet, like a protein shake, it's really important to get that fiber in as well. When you start adding more protein into your diet, make sure you up your fiber and then make sure you up your water because when you up, to, up your fiber, you need more water as well. So just a tip. Looks delish. Then I'm gonna sit over here just on the couch. All that good stuff. So while I'm sitting here enjoying my coffee, I do this every single morning. I've never really shared this before. I've done work week in my life, but I've never really shared that I do this. So I've been doing it for a really long time, as you can see. This is basically what the, the whole thing looks like. So the date at the top, you write three things you're grateful for, what would make today great, and then daily affirmations. I don't really do the nighttime prompt. If you want morning and night routine book, this would be great for you. I don't really use this prompt. And one reason why I don't really use it is because I don't like how could I have made today even better. It makes you think about what could I have done differently. And I don't think that's how you should end a day is like questioning how you handled something or questioning how something happened. I just don't like that that's how it makes me feel so it makes me feel like a little bit like it pulls out a negative out of the day like oh I should have done this differently at work or this didn't happen like it would be a better day I don't really like the night prompt because I don't like how that one how could I have made today even better sentence made me feel you know so just like cater everything that you incorporate into your routine whether it's something like this or just journaling in general obviously do things that make you feel good that's why i just don't do the night routine because i just don't like how how could i have made today even better makes me feel if that makes sense i don't know if anyone else is like this but i just didn't like how it personally made me like pull things out of my day that weren't necessarily how i wanted them to go you know what i'm saying i think you should end each day with like a positive and happy heart i don't know if you understand what i'm saying thank you So now I'm going to be doing some skincare. I'm using the Peter Thomas Roth Potent C Power Serum. Pat it in to my skin. I used to use the Drunk Elephant Vitamin C Serum, but I've heard really good things about this Peter Thomas Roth Vitamin C Serum. So it's expensive, so I warn you. I always use a Vitamin C Serum regardless of what it is. I always use that, so I always wait five minutes after I apply my vitamin C serum before I go in with another product. It needs that time to seep in before you layer another product over it. Next I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. This is my third bottle of it. Those are the products that I use. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to go in with eye cream. I put on eye cream before my moisturizer just to act as like a protective barrier. Nothing special. And then I use um, the CeraVe moisturizing cream. Okay, so now I'm about to blow dry my hair because it needs to be blow dried. I know this is supposed to be like a morning routine, but my brother just got me this for Christmas and I've never used it. Obviously, I blow dry my hair every day, so it's part of my routine. I'm just using something new that I've never used before. So I'm going to use this Revlon blow dry brush. I'm kind of excited to use it. It's on Amazon. It's so highly talked about and raved about and i finally jumped on the bandwagon well my brother got it for me but hair dryer is absolutely incredible like it just makes your hair look so good i'm gonna style it still this is this thing is just amazing i will link it down below for you if you want to check it out i forgot to say that i apply sunscreen after my skincare this is the one that i use but i'm not going to recommend it i'm just I don't want to throw it away, so I'm using it until the end. But um, this is my favorite one. It's the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. So I'm going to obviously purchase it after I finish this. I'm almost done with it. I've had this. I've been using it every single day since April, and it lasts so long. It's just a zinc um, sunscreen. 
so it just sits on top of your skin and it has like a white sheen to it if i had to recommend one drunk elephant like this is a great sunscreen it just sits on top of your skin if you had to pick one i would do the tinted one because it is tinted and it doesn't give you a white sheen it's still zinc oxide i love this oily skin girls beware though it's oily okay I'm gonna start making breakfast. I'm gonna show you what I do. I'm just gonna make a breakfast sandwich. Super easy, really yummy. I'm gonna be using this multi-grain bread. I'm going to put it on this big pan back here. I'm gonna put this butter on the pan side of the bread. I'm gonna cook two eggs in here. Here are my eggs. We have some leftover cheese from sandwiches this week we got lunch meat so i'm going to be using this just vermont white cheddar and then an avocado bread down butter one side of it in my hair um, I'm gonna do my makeup but first I'm going to make like a big glass of lime water switch off between like lemon and lime water depending on what I'm feeling so I always use like the whole lime I put the half of the lime I put those pieces in my water and then I'll just squeeze the rest of it in there and I'll just be drinking on this the rest of the morning this concludes my morning routine so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos any future content and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye